All right, so this was pretty much leaked on Twitter a few days ago, but now it's officially been confirmed by the in-game news, and that is the fact that the next Dokkan Festival unit on Global is going to be the Tech Kaelin Khalifla slash Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. And as you can see, it says, I will crank it up, <laughs> new stage of Dokkan event coming soon. The power of friendship that works miracles. Reign victorious against the fused fighter of Universe 6, which obviously is Kefla. Now, I know that some people have some mixed emotions about this news because I feel like most people were kind of hoping that STR Super Vegeta will be next as opposed to killing Khalifla. And uh, for those people, this might be you know, a bit of a disappointment, right? Now for me personally, uh, I'm okay with it. I really am. Of course, I would have preferred the Vegeta as well uh, because I feel like he's the superior unit and also the fact that he's a 170% lead for Pure Saiyans is just a little bit more exciting. But with that said, Kelly and Khalifla are still very, very good and I'm still really excited for them to come out. So with that said, let's uh, pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and check out the details for the Kellen Khalifla, as well as the side unit under banner, which is the Int Kaba. So let's uh, remove the gameplay here. And starting with their leader skill, it is Bond of Friendship, which is a brand new category or Rapid Growth, category Q plus three, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 100%. And 70%. Their super attack raises attack and defense, and this can be infinitely stacked and causes immense damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 160%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 6% with each attack performed, up to 60%, plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking when there is an enemy in the Universe Survival Saga category. Their active skill is a fusion into Kefla, which can be activated starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only. So this condition is not awesome because six turns is a lot. It means that in shorter events or even medium length events, a lot of times you might not be able to see it. Of course, in longer events like the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Vegeta event, and so on and so forth, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. It's just six turns for a transformation or for any active skill is a bit long for sure. Uh, links are the Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Pepe Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Universe 6, Joined Forces, Super Saiyan 2, Final Trump Card, Rapid Growth, Time Limit, Bond of Friendship, and Accelerated Battle. So they're definitely not lacking in categories. And uh, let's see if we have some separate calculations. We do. Okay, so their additional boosts are calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 316% with 10 attacks performed as well as an additional 472% attack when there is a Universe Survival Saga category enemy. So after they launch 10 attacks, they're getting a massive attack and defense boost on top of the attack and defense they gained for each super attack they launched with uh, you know this part right here. So. Uh, yeah, in longer events, they are going to be absolute monsters. That's kind of to be expected. And uh, even in kind of medium to you know short-term events, like maybe events that take four to six turns, uh, they should still be doing quite well, both offensively and defensively. Now, let's move on to the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla post-fusion after you use the active skill. Uh, of course, leader skill is the same. Super attack raises attack, so you don't raise defense anymore, just raises attack and causes immense damage, and passive is recovers 60% HP once only, attack and defense plus 160%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when attacking, plus an additional 60% attack when attacking with 6 or more key spheres obtained. Links are Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter, 
uh, Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Term of Power, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle. And categories are the same as before. And for her calculations, her additional boosts are calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 316% when attacking, as well as an additional 472% attack with 6 or more key spheres obtained. So, when you get 6 key spheres for her, she's going to be hitting stupidly, stupidly hard. Of course, that's not always going to be possible, but if you bring an orb changer, then it's going to be much easier to get that consistently, right? So that is the Helen Khalifa slash Kefla guys. As I said, uh, they're very, very impressive. I still think that the Super Vegeta that's coming in the near future, possibly close to Christmas or in January, is better, but you definitely shouldn't sleep on Kale and Khalifa. And lastly, before we go, let's quickly check out the Int Kaba. So his leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack raises attack and causes supreme damage, and unit super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. And it can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta on the team, youth and junior excluded. Passive is attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 6% per Universe Survival Saga Category Ally. On the team, Universe Survival Saga Category Allies, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack plus 60% when attacking, when your team has an ally whose name includes Vegeta, attacking on the same turn, youth, and junior excluded. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Pure Saiyans, Universe 6, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Defenders of Justice. And his passive is calculated separately for a total boost of 399.2% attack when all conditions are met, which is pretty crazy. And of course, he is a fantastic support for Universe Survival Saga, and overall just a very, very good uh, non dokkan Fest unit. So that is the Kaba, and we talked about the Kellen Khalifla. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Look forward to this banner dropping within the next two to three days on Global. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan to summon for them when they drop. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.